What more are you writing? It's my doctor's scribble. This guy, right? <laughs> then I went home and told my daughter this, right? What? I said, this guy saw my diary, right? And you know what he said? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tell me question now, get that at the beginning of your okay, test. Okay. Would you tell me about the power steering, please, Felipe? How would you test to see that's working correctly? When you turn on the engine, the steering wheel feels light. Sounds amazing to me. Well done. We've got the sat now set. You start with your independent drive, so in your own time when you're ready, we will begin your test. Drive on when it's safe to do so and follow the sat now, please. Hopefully I stuck the camera on the roof down well because uh, if I haven't, say goodbye to it. Okay, she's on a different path. Not okay, this again. it's all right. We know Gloria well, don't we? So no. we won't panic. It happens on a driving test as well. Sometimes the sat nav is in correct direction so we're just going to go around the block hopefully it'll redirect but i'd like you to take the next road on the right so if it does happen on your test your examiner will start to give you directions don't panic just listen to the examiner and they will give you the directions all right fantastic very smooth nice turn i don't think it's on one pedal no it's not Okay. No, it is. Now it is. How did you know it wasn't, and how do you know it is? Let's use the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you look at your dashboard, yeah, you see the, the icon. Yeah. All right, so the sat nav has redirected. So if you wouldn't mind to just continue to follow the sat nav's direction, please. Good old Gloria. Turn left. Checks. We're done. You can see this guy behind us in the van. No. He's got something on his roof <laughs> and he's just like flopping around when he goes over the speed bumps. It doesn't look like it's secured very well, mm. so that's why I'm bringing it up. less space less speed rule number one of driving turn left Very good observations, excellent decision making. When it's safe, I'd like you to show me how you would wash the front windscreen, please. Thank you. 
Okay, there's a sign on the right. It does say Oxford, so some people were asked to follow that Turn sign. Left. It's quite important to point it out because it's quite hard to see. Did you know that 80% of driving tests will use the sat nav for independent drive and 20% of driving tests will use the signs for independent drive? So if you're using the signs, it's good to know where they, where they are. It's good to do. Yeah, here we are, A40 dual carriageway, heading out towards Oxford. We're going to use the Target roundabout, which is one of the biggest, busiest roundabouts in the London area. yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A40, towards Oxford. Fantastic blind spots looking over your shoulder out the back window. Really helps sometimes with those awkward angles. If I was to ask you to talk me through how you're going to approach and complete this roundabout, would you be alright with answering that or would you prefer to stay quiet? It's okay if you're quiet, it's fine because I understand you've got a lot to think about, that's all. That's why I asked. What do you want to know? What, what are you going to do next? Well, it's the second lane. Okay, cool. It's the middle lane. A middle lane, excellent. Then you're going straight second yeah. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A40, towards Oxford. Excellent, A40 West, that's you, that's so smooth, well done. And what was really nice and why I was asking that was just to see that you knew that that middle lane was there, mm. so by you saying that out loud, it's nice and other people might pay attention and learn from that as well, so mm. thank you for sharing. Nice. <laughs> I was seeing if you were doing something sneaky <laughs> on the side there. I was like, what's he up to over there? All right. No, it's I was just still looking at the light. It's all good, it's all good. Got my eyes yeah. on you though. Right, okay, I'll be quiet now, let's be more professional. It's gonna be strict with you, okay? Not that strict. After three quarters of a mile, take the exit, B455, towards Rysip. What more are you writing? It's my doctor's scribble. This guy, right? You know, I went home and told my daughter this, right? What? said, this guy saw my diary, right? And you know what he said? <laughs> <laughs> Your diary gives me hope. <laughs> So stop making fun of me, right? Excellent. Now, can we tell every, everybody about... Hold on. Hold on. After 300 tell everybody yards, about what's going to happen. Yeah, the 30 mile per hour. And take the third exit, so, A4180. Where was the 30 mile an hour sign? Right there. Oh, right there, hidden in the bush, where we can't see it. That 30 mile an hour sign. Go Good right thing they know as well. They yeah. should down the line. Third exit. I'm going a little bit too slow for my liking, but... No, no, you're doing absolutely fine. No, them people, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah. But this is a bit wiggly here, so you know what? I think that speed's pretty appropriate, to be honest. It's about 10 miles an hour, maybe, on the approach. We've got Polish War Memorial roundabout here. It can be quite busy on the exit, so prepare for traffic as you come round this bend. Take the exit, A4180, West End Road. Very good example of when to use the right lane on the exit. Amazing mirror signal, fantastic checking again. Nice little signal, that's decent, because you're gonna merge yeah. across, aren't you? All right, lovely, that was 10, After 10. 300 yards, turn right, Edwards Avenue. So this turn's a little bit hard to see, but the sat-nav's counting mm. you down, so that's nice. It's up. 
Good mirrors. Nice early position, coming close Turn to the right. centre line. Just take your time. I was trying to move that car, but... Yeah, it's no race. It's a driving test, not a race, yeah. You're all right. Just relax. Very nice position. Can you see how the traffic can flow yeah. around you? So you can sit here all day long. You're not holding anyone up. Well done. There we go. I did a green point without even having to do the voiceover. That's <laughs> what I tried to do back in the day because editing is long. It's rewarding though, but just tiring. Okay, I'd like to find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Um, yeah, do me a favour actually, just block the driveway, but leave a car length between you and this vehicle. Here's nice. You sure? Yeah, here's nice, here's nice. Thank okay. You. Uh, at some point on your test, your examiner is going to ask you to do this. They're going to ask you to move up, stop, leave about a car length from a vehicle, and then move away. Um, that's just part of the test, so you're going to have that later on your real test, okay? Uh, we're not really going to waste much time, we're just going to get going. Uh, remember we said about 20% of tests follow signs? The what? 20% of tests for independent drive yeah. follow signs. So there's going to be a few signs as you follow your sat-nav. I'm just going to point them out as you go. Otherwise, I'm not going to talk too much now. I'm just going to be pretty chill over here, okay? When you're ready and it's safe, drive on, follow the sat-nav. And like I said, I'll just point the signs out as we go. At the end of the road, turn right, Masson Avenue, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left, A4180, West End Road, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. A4180, B455, towards South Wall. Oh, good. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. A4180. B455 towards South Hall. Take the exit, West End Road. Okay, well done. Nice roundabout. We're approaching the White Hart roundabout. This roundabout has got multiple lanes. We are going to take the third exit, turning right towards Heathrow. Um, the road markings, the name of the road is the A312. Now we have A312 that's actually labelled in two different lanes, and we're going to A312S, which is literally just in front of you right now. Okay, so we have two of these. There's only one at the moment, but it, you know, and mm. I know, it splits as it we get closer to the traffic light. What one of those two are you going to choose? Or what's more appropriate to choose? I have to be careful when I'm asking this kind yeah. of questions now, yeah. right? Because he's too clever. So what's the what's the more appropriate lane for a driver? I, I would have chosen the the, <laughs> the right one. You want me to choose the left one? Or well, I'm asking you. I'm not telling you. I'm just saying which is the more appropriate one to use for the driving test. The left test. one. All right, cool. So let's do that because we're on a driving test. Once you passed, I'm not your police officer or anything you do what you want all right so look at the lines on the left the, exactly look so that those ones are going into that second lane over there this one merges into those two lanes when we did it yesterday we were in this lane here next to you yeah yeah look if this guy sticks to the lines you want to stick to your lines he sticks to his lines when we were doing it yesterday we drifted out into the yellow box to the right what one what one did i go into a better way of doing it pointing He's pointing at Yedding. Yesterday we were pointing at Yedding. So when you went, you went towards Yedding and then you went, oh yeah, actually it's over here. And then you move over. Yeah. But point, point at Jesus. That's Jeez. it. Jeez. So you're pointing. Yeah. See, because you're slightly pointing out that way. Yeah, well done. Yeah, you'll get this a lot. See? Much better. And we're not there. 
What do you think? I prefer it there. We all know you prefer it there. <laughs> what, how did this feel compared? It felt more unsafe. Okay, fine. There was people... To be fine, like, then if you think it's safer. As long as you're safe and you... It doesn't really make a big difference, but ultimately, remember the examiners and the driving test is trying to teach us to use the... In the plane. If possible, yeah, if it's safe. Okay. And I'll give you the directions from now on. I'd like you to take the next exit, which is coming up on the left, please. Excellent for use of speed, well done, up to about 45 miles an hour, that's absolutely fine on 50, really. Gives you that D way a little bit up, look where you look down. So just the next exit coming up on the left, please. Thank you. Once you've exited, Dual carriageway, you will approach a roundabout on the Garvin. I'd like to turn right towards Gillingdon Hayes. Should have told me earlier. I'm telling you as early as possible. No, bro. man. You just got off the dual carriageway. No, but I, I want to align myself properly. I don't want to put no signs up. It's because he's too smart. He's one, one, two, three, four, five steps ahead, which is excellent. By and I could way. tell that you did it on purpose. Hayes, please. The road markings will say Hayes. Excellent. Very good. I could have still used that one. Uh, correct, yeah. I think you can. Um, yeah, because that one's turning that way, but you made me go this way. I, I just said hey. <laughs> I just said hey. I like that car. The Suki Swift. That's a hybrid version, 21 plate. Interesting. No, Electric no, one. Now I'm going to have cool. to merge into the left lane. Yeah, just don't touch the Suzuki Swift, please. <laughs> Why? It's beautiful. We want it pristine. Yeah, I think if they make an electric one of that, that could be quite cool. I like the back door handle as well. That's much better than my one. You see it? Hmm. They just grab it like that. Yeah, looks strong. It doesn't look flush there. Mm, it does no, it's not flush. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, All right, haze. haze, 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 haze. Oh, he's all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fuck. Green oh, light as well. Oh, he's, he's lost the plot now. This is what I mean. You made me. I just want to know where the writing for Haze is. I, I don't know where the Haze is. It's, it's over the there. Bridge, but it did say Haze. You've done it correctly, okay? But you see what I was telling you about that little drift? And you said, oh, I watched that video yesterday. Yeah, yeah but... Oh, yeah? You, that, you made that. me do that drift. All right, see the Sainsbury's. Can you make your way all the way across? We're just going to finish up in here. So if you just take the next exit here, and we're going to go into the car park, the Bay Park. And then we're done, all right? You're doing very well, by the way, okay? So just I don't know if it wasn't for you. <laughs> just take us into the car park, please. All right, uh, follow the road. Now let's go to the back back. I'm sure it's gonna be quieter there. So if you just keep going all the way, right the way down to that crane. Busy in here actually. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll be a bit quieter down here. Super drugs, super drugs can be busy, but probably not as busy as Sainsbury's. Alright, um, let's turn very, very back. Let's turn right. And as you slowly turn right, I'd like you to turn right again actually. We're gonna have to go into the next dial. This is too busy. Thank you. If you don't mind trying to turn right here, don't worry too much about the road markings because it's very, you know, squashed car parks. And then I'd like you to try and drive or reverse into one of the bays. Remember you said you wanted to challenge about reversing between cars and stuff? Well, that's barely in between. That's okay, but you got a double gap. Mm. We'll use a double gap, that's nice. Mm. Still a bit of a challenge though. Usually on the test you'll have an empty car park, okay? Yeah, really break your neck. Looking at those back windows. Well done for all the manoeuvres. Excellent. Yeah. Stay Thank you. 
put on. Lovely. We'll leave the air conditioning on. <laughs> Otherwise, at the end of your test, your examiner will ask you to unplug the car. Okay. Well done, that's the end. Is that it? Yeah. We're not at the test centre. We're not at the test centre. Hmm. But we're paid for this. And you've done your allotted time. Hmm. I've seen enough. <laughs> and heard enough. Would you like me to go through the results? Um, go on. Okay, congratulations, you have passed. Okay. A few little pointers. I know. One, one important one. Yeah, the left mirror. Uh, yeah, good, okay. So two important ones then. Um, Give me a clue, the bit that I was going to say important actually just happened now. Yeah, the one that you made me do. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I stuck to the I'm lane, not even if going, I, look, 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 can we just squash that one? We're not going there, that's not even going to come up, all right? So let's just let sleeping dogs okay. lie now, okay. all right? Um, so just now, right now though, came up. So what do you think? Just now? Yeah, as you're doing your parking. That had to realign? No, that is a minor, but Oh, it was because when I reversed, that. I needed to check again. Thank you, yeah. yes. And so then I checked second, yeah. Yeah, so your observation's quite important. Yeah. yeah, you saw me check and then you checked, so. No, I didn't see you check. Oh, you didn't? All no. right, okay. So never mind, that's fine. Um, now, on that note, um, this, camera that we have here mm -hmm. which i think some people might be able to see on the video obviously yeah um it's actually showing you the very dangerous area that you're in if mm -hmm. there was someone mm -hmm. so you would have actually been able to see it on that camera mm -hmm. however the examiners although they may sim be similar to my discretion would really encourage you and so would i to do those observations before reversing and then if you need to change your position, that's fine. Just do the observations again, change your position. Okay, so in total, um, four minor driver faults, two for your maneuver. One, because you had to correct. That's just a one minor. You could do multiple corrections. It's eating in from the inside. And two, because of your observations, you reversed a bit after your correction, but didn't really look straight away, was relying a little bit more on the camera. Question. Yes. When I was there, Yes. Once I start reversing, mm -hmm. if I reverse just a little bit and I go back forward, is that still minor? Yeah, most likely, yes. <laughs> because you've changed your gear and you've changed your direction. So that's just where it falls into the minor. But it's only one. It's not. If you yeah. keep doing it, it's still only one minor driver fall. Okay, uh, real quick, because people get bored. <laughs> um, the so mirror check before signaling, like you said, um, that was on the exit to target. And then there was another roundabout that we did, the first roundabout we did by the SO petrol station. You put your right signal on, it's really nice. As you were going round the roundabout, it turned off as you entered onto the roundabout. Uh, there was a vehicle coming towards us that was looking at us and it, we had no signal on. Thanks for watching. I've been Scott. This is Two Day Pass. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>